Hello, greetings from CDFI. We are here to provide more information for you for the low cost application. In this video, we will learn how to undertake the SHG village organization mapping process. Moving on to the next icon towards the left is the village organization mapping which is displayed on the screen. For the SHG mapping firstly we choose the Gram Panchayat and select the village. As soon as the village has been selected the mapped and unmapped SHGs would instantly be displayed for us to view. We can see clearly that there are 4 unmapped SHGs and 13 mapped SHGs. Now under the option of unmapped SHGs, we can easily convert the unmapped SHGs to mapped SHGs. This can be done by easily selecting the unmapped of our choice and as soon as we do this step, we can see a pop-up message on our screen which would ask us to enter the date of joining. According to our village organization this specific SHG got grouped on the 9th of April 2022. So now, as a part of the next step, select the option, map and upload the SHG given below in the end. We now receive the pop-up message record added to the queue. Going back to the previous screen we can now see that the number of unmapped SHG has become 3 and mapped SHG has become 14. Going to the mapped SHG. We can see that Vardhan Mahila SHG is being reflected under this section. However, in order to convert the mapped SHG to unmapped SHG, we need to select the specific SHG we want to convert and shift to the next icons towards the right and remove the ache member. Only this step will help us successfully unmap the SHG. Under the executive committee icon, let us suppose that we want to unmap the Jagriti Mahila SHG, then we need to remove the executive committee members. It is mandatory that there exists one executive committee member to be present in each SHG that we have mapped. If you don't make an executive committee member from the SHG then the village organization will not be uploaded. To add the executive committee member, click on the blue plus sign given at the bottom of the page. Make sure that there is a good network connection to enter an executive committee member. On the screen you can see that there is a pop message saying, data downloading. In the next step we need to add the CBO name along with the name of the executive committee member here Sarika from the Vardhan Mahila SHG. Now add the designation of the executive committee member along with the date from which they started their tenure. Along with this, we also need to ensure there are two signatories and three office bearers in the mapped village organizations. We need to check that there is a green tick against the office bearers. If there is no green tick visible, then we need to click on the edit button option and then select the yes button against the signatory option. Make sure that the from and to date is also selected. Proceed to click on add executive committee member at the end of the page. This is for the village organization mapping process. Moving on to the next tab namely the phone details. In this tab, we need to click on the blue plus button to add the phone number to add any one of the members phone numbers. The next icon tab is the option for adding the address. Click on the edit option and then add the pin code. Finally, click on the add address button to update the data successfully. The next tab is that of the bank details. In this step we need to verify the bank details from the bank passbook. Carefully check all the details of the IFSC code, account opening date, branch address etc.
Next step would require us to click a picture of the first page of the bank passbook. Hence, use the camera option to scan the first page and then click on the tick option to confirm the scan upload. Proceed to click on the add bank option. We will encounter a pop-up message stating that, do you want to make this the default bank? Click on yes and hence the data will be updated successfully. The next step is to update the KYC. In the KYC tab, select the type of document for the KYC process and enter the registration number ID along with entering the valid till date. Upload the photo of the registration ID by clicking on the camera option. Proceed to click on the Add KYC option. The next step is to add and create a committee and upload a subcommittee as well. Make sure that it is mandatory for a minimum of two members to form a part of the committee. Click on the blue plus button and select the federation name in the subcommittee. Also select the start date of the inauguration of this subcommittee in the village organization. All of this information is available in the copy of the resolution. Proceed to save the data and hence the data would be saved successfully. Thus we have formed the committee and now we need to add the members in the committee. Go on the members tab and then click on the drop down option to select the members to be added. Add the executive committee members in the subcommittee and the date since which the member has been added to the committee. Under the Members tab we can see the name and details of the member who has been added. Now we need to add another member since we require a minimum of two members. Follow a similar process to add the second member. We can follow a similar process to add more subcommittee members if required in the future by clicking on the blue plus button. This is it for today's video.